also learned that the unemployment rate fell to 3.4 percent. 3.4 percent. That's the lowest in 54 years. In fact, the last time unemployment rate was that low was May of 1969. Think about that. And what's more, black and Hispanic unemployment are near record lows. This matters. More working age folks coming to the labor market looking for jobs last month than have in a long while. That is, remember all the talk about no one looking for, we need more people coming into the market. Well, more people are coming into the market looking for jobs and getting jobs. A positive sign for the health of the economy going forward. And even as the job market reaches historic highs, inflation continues to come down. Inflation has now fallen for six straight months. Gas prices are down more than $1.50 a gallon since their peak. Food inflation is falling as well. And as inflation is coming down, take-home pay for workers is going up. Real wages are up. Wages for lower-income, middle-income workers have gone up even more. A couple, a couple of that with a 2.9 percent economic growth last quarter. And here's where we stand. The strongest job growth in history, the lowest unemployment rate in 54 years, manufacturing rebounding at a faster rate than in the last 40 years, inflation coming down, real, races, real wages going up, but moderately going up, not going through the roof, the economy growing at a solid clip. Put simply, I would argue the Biden economic plan is working. For the past two years, we've heard a chorus of critics write off my economic plan. They said it's just not possible to grow the economy from the bottom up and the middle out. They said we can't bring back American manufacturing. They said we can't make things in America anymore. That somehow adding jobs was a bad thing. Well, or that the only way to slow down inflation was to destroy jobs. Well, today's data makes crystal clear what I've always known in my gut. These critics and cynics are wrong. While we may face setbacks along the way, and there will be some, there's more work to do, it's clear. Our plan is working because of the grit and resolve of the American worker. <clears throat> We're going to keep lowering costs for families, from lowering costs in health care, prescription drugs, clean energy, because we passed that legislation. We're going to be rolling it out this whole year. We're going to keep seeing shovels hitting the ground all around the country to rebuild the infrastructure and supply chains manufacturing more here at home. And in, in communities across the country that were too easily written off for dead, we're going to not only see jobs coming back, but a sense of self-worth and pride coming back. Nothing worse than when a city has a major manufacturer leave shut down, and all of a sudden, uh, your kid getting out of high school or college says, Mom, we got to move. Nothing here for me anymore. Nothing here. Well, I'm intent on changing that in the heartland as well. That's how we build an America where we all can take pride in working, working families, have a good jobs, and a little more breathing room. And the, as the economy grows from the bottom up and the middle out, it's the, my objective for the long haul. Trickle-down economics works for one group of Americans. It doesn't work for everybody. And so this is what it's all about. So I'm heading off to Philadelphia and uh, if you want to ask me a question about the economy, but I'm not going to answer any question about anything else because you never will cover this. Mr. President, take any blame for inflation? No. Why not? Because it was already there when I got here, man. Remember what the economy was like when I got here? Jobs were hemorrhaging. Inflation was rising. We weren't manufacturing a damn thing here. We were in real economic difficulty. That's why I don't. Thank you. Mr.